We are a little stuck. We're gonna turn the van around, hopefully. Get the boat back on, and then continue down this road. So, James and I are in Wyoming right now. We're on some random back roads. It's a little bit too muddy for the van to get up this hill. James was backing up, and the van slid pretty hard to the right, and luckily, we didn't go down that ditch, but it was close. So now the van is leaned out pretty good. Kind of hanging on for its life. So we're gonna go try to find some help. See if we can get towed out of this little situation. It's nice out here. I feel like I should have my bear mace. You get that camera on my face. Update, James. There's no update because there's no service. And there's no service, which means we can't call anyone. There's, I mean, it's pretty. Look at that red mountain. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. There's one house over there. We might I think that's going to be the fallback plan. We can't find anybody. But the trip is in the balance, as I just joked. So. Literally. I don't know. This is... I'm surprised it took so long for something like this to happen. Please let there be service at the top of this hill. Oh, five bars of 1X extended. Looks like bear prints. Yeah, for sure. They got grizzlies over here? Probably. They look small though. Those are definitely bear prints, no doubt. Which way did he go? No. If he goes left, we're going right. <laughs> so I think we gotta walk back out to the main road, which is like three miles, right? Yippee. Hopefully. Hopefully we can make it before we're a bear's brunch. Just getting the rocks out of my shoe. We're good. Good to go. We're back on it. Once again, like I was saying, if you're watching this video, it means we didn't make it. Uh, at least we died in a pretty place. We're probably gonna get trampled by like a stampede of cows and then picked apart by a bear. But at least, you know, died doing what I like, you know, feeding someone. So. <laughs> Service? Nope. We'd probably move faster if we were tumbleweed. Yeah. Well, we found a little bit of service, so that's good. We got one bar of extended. Dang it! What's the number for AAA? Come on. What's up, dude? Yo. Can you do me? Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Uh, can you look up the number for AAA? <laughs> yeah, hold on one second. Okay. What happened? Oh, nothing. Well, we're on this dirt road in Wyoming, and it was muddy as we got stuck and almost went over a cliff. And what? We almost <laughs> went over a cliff. You almost? Oh, I lost him. We got help coming. You know, it would be nice if he has, like, a Jeep or something. Yeah. Or a dually that he can just like yank us in the straight and then we can salvage the day and fish the afternoon that would be after nice. we get lunch Yeah. and water. I am hungry. I don't think there's anything else around though. There's like... There's mountains. There's mountains. And uh, cow. Plains. We can, we can go get one of those cow. There's bears and deer. We were meeting up with a subscriber actually. He got in touch with me on Instagram and we were supposed to fish with him. He was at the lake, he was there at like 11 when we said we'd meet, and then that's when James and I were walking back. Finally found some service, I gave him like a few calls, and then he just called me back. Said he's gonna come try to help tow us out. Hopefully it works. 
Or at least we don't have to walk all the way back there. That'd be cool. Look how close we were to the main road. See those little dots? They look like ants. Those are cars. Help! What is it? It does have teeth. It could be a fox. Ooh. See it? Check it out. What is that? Oh, right there. That's a whole skull. Here's the rest of it. There's his bottom jaw. What is that thing? Should we take it? I don't give a shit. It's up to you. Look at those teeth, dude. What is that? Put it in bleach. What do you think this belongs to? Yeah, it's probably a dog. Capybara? <laughs> do you think? Barbara. You think it's a dog? I hope not. Maybe a fox. I don't know. I'm going to leave it. It makes me feel weird having a dog skull. It makes me feel weird I even touched it now at this point. I was telling James earlier that us on this hike, trying to figure this stuff out, is like... When you see in one of those funny medieval movies when they send two idiots off on a mission that they don't think they're actually going to complete. But we're going to get her done. That's how it feels. I'm James Franco, and this is Danny McBride, and this is Dude, Your I, Highness. I don't even want to, like when we pulled up there, I don't even want to like look at the van. I haven't heard any explosions off in the distance. so let's I don't think it would explode. That's how it happens in the movies. What do you think? Pretty close? Is there a place with a gut button in the front somewhere? I don't even know. <laughs> you want me to do it? Yeah. I'll, I will gladly do it. Just don't die. <laughs> Turn it to the right, James. Ooh. James, James! Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. We made it out of the hole. Luckily. How'd that go, James? What was it like on the inside? It was alright. I'm just glad we got out. Yeah, me too. Could have been a lot worse. It definitely could have been a lot worse. The van actually kind of got out the front right tire which was in that hole and then we were rolling it forward and it just the back end started sliding down we were all like keep going keep going yeah i just gassed it I made like, it oh, out yeah i like popped it in the drive real quick I was like, yeah. yeah the van seems to be fine the boat is on the back of aaron's truck right now we're gonna go grab a quick bite to eat after that fiasco and then we're gonna try to go do some fishing but we'll see Whoa. This is the boat ramp. It looks like a good boat ramp. Yeah, it's not terrible. No, it's fine. Take two on Montana fishing. Got the fly rod. Got Aaron. He's gonna help us catch some cutthroat. He also saved our lives today, which is great. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely gotta go this way. Wow, it's pretty clear. This should be fun. What are they eating on top? Just They're probably eating like small midges right now. Okay. I am hooked up. My GoPro died. First fish of the day. Dude, this is so cool. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Awesome. Look at that. Not skunked. It's a beautiful fish. Awesome, dude. That was so cool. I wish this GoPro wasn't dude, dead. Dude, got one with another hook in its mouth too. No way. Yeah, dude. That's lucky. 
Yeah, look at how beat up that nose is. It's like 18 inches probably. They're like the hardest things to hold. Oh, they're so slimy. But yeah. Here we go. First cutthroat trout ever, thanks to Aaron throwing the fly around. Caught it on his personally hand tied yep. fly. Hand tied fly. So cool. All right, let's let her go. Yeah, dude. Let me set her up and she'll take off. See you later, babe. That was very sweet. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Thanks, oh, yeah. Man. Well, it's day two here in Wyoming. And yesterday was definitely a bit of a bust for us because we got the van stuck and then when we finally got out fishing it started pouring rain and it was freezing. So it's going to be kind of like today, super cold, rainy on and off. But we're going to go back to Luce and Hogan Reservoir in Wyoming. We'll see what happens today. Should be fun.